Do you want to have incredible legs and feet? That's what I'm famous for and I wasn't born this way, I trained. So today I'm going to share with you my top 3 secrets how to dance better Roomba walks. Number 1. For all my female students. We all have a high heel for a competition or for shows. So, and we sometimes struggle with the balance. To help yourself stay strongly on the foot, remember, when you take a step into the Roomba walk, turn slightly your foot out. So your foot shouldn't be super, super straight. Your front foot, your only, is slightly toes turn out. Now, at the same time when your toes are turned out, Take with your hands right now, touch the thigh and try to bring those muscles inside. So your foot right now, your right foot right now turn to the right, but your thigh is turned to the left. One, I will show you the same always my left foot. Step on the foot, step on your left foot, turn out slightly your toes to the left and with your hands help yourself take your thigh and bring it in so this opposition on your standing leg will help you to feel better balance tip number two is always you should remember about the resistance between your two legs that's always when we start for example in our rotation position we always create this um, stretch we always create this triangle in our legs and many of you forget after you when you create after you create the rotation you just forget about the rotation and you just take a step we have to save this extension and this resistance during the entire walk so my standing leg will non-stop will work backward while i prepare my uh, left leg into the step i always use my two legs at the same time if I'm on my left leg, I use my left knee and extension of my left knee all the time during the Roomba walk form. Now i already on my right leg, I'm gonna use my right knee all the way back dur uh, during my, uh, the entire process of the Roomba walk forward. So extension and resistance between two legs are very, very, very important. Tip number three. While you arrive on your left leg, you should start collect your right leg to your left, but not because of your toes, not because of your foot. First, first of all, you have to collect and connect your thighs and your knees. Your foot, your back right foot are still in rotation. Your heel is going down. So you not rotate your foot and take it already to the close position. First, after the rotation, after your foot rotation, your foot uh, turn out and you have to collect your knees first and thighs. And after that, you can rotate your foot more straight into more straight position and collect your feet. And again, I will try to do the same with my left leg. I step on my left leg now, I first, before I start to move my right leg, I collect my thighs, I collect my knees. My standing left leg is super straight, my right knee is flexed. And only after this connection in my thighs and in my knees, I will start to move my foot forward. 